Uh, hello everyone, this is another Abacus tutorial. Uh, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to build your material library. Uh, I used uh, material library in two ways. One is uh, that the program has a large uh, uh, material library means for me that the program can support a lot of material uh, construction models uh, for the steel, for the foam, for the uh, fiber elements, for other materials. But each parameter that should you should calculate uh, properly or handily, handy, uh, then you put in in them and use it. And the second is that the that the material library that we create uh, and we already uh, put the data and for the next simulation we will actually use this. So now uh, we have a very simple model and we want to create a material. You can give a name that you that you want. Uh, let's, uh, I want to give a very simple steel material so that the steel is, you can make uh, quite a specific name. Uh, so I'm gonna give five, uh, FUY which is the uh, yield strain of the material is uh, 340 megapascal. Uh, even I can uh, use the unit because uh, when you model uh, your um, your your structure, your model, so that you should cons uh, consider the consistency of the model. Uh, so I use this one megapascal. <clears throat> now, uh, for this, I give the density. So you know, most of you familiar with the density each material requires. So this still is like. <clears throat> this one and uh, when you're using megapascal then you have to give ton per uh, cubic millimeter so i'm gonna give minus nine uh, ton per cubic millimeter and the second is elastic so now you can uh, understand that the elastic elastic library is very large you can put all this is we call library but each parameter that you should calculate properly so now the young modulus of this still is for this is uh, 200 10 uh, megapascal and 0 0.3 for uh, a portion ratio. And we also can add like plasticity in case if you want to uh, analyze uh, inelastic or uh, consider a plastic analysis, nonlinear anal analysis, so you uh, require this as well. So let's suppose the first is uh, uh, mostly the plastic strain when the first is requires 0 <coughs> and the second uh, is. Uh, 537 uh, and let's uh, suppose it's uh, uh, actually random numbers and <coughs> with 10% plastic strain uh, so this is a bilinear so I'm gonna up this one and then go like this and uh, I'm gonna save it uh, so now I have one uh, material in my la in my I created for this so I wanna use this in a, in a next simulation as well so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to come to the material library, you, you will be here first, and you come here, then you can uh, create here. Come to the material library manager, you create a new uh, model, and then you give call still. So <coughs> so I, I, I call them still, let's see still, uh, you can give a specific name, let's call it over uh, 400. Uh, megapascal. Uh, there is two options. One is current, and means it will come under this uh, uh, folder. And if you say um, and it will be independently will be a uh, uh, folder. So this is better. Move still. And now this one, you, you just uh, uh, switch this one, and it will be under this uh, folder. So I'm save it now. Uh, we can dismiss and uh, the model is actually saved saved if you want to uh, open this one next so now I don't have here and in the next uh, when you uh, open uh, a new uh, model and let me open a new model uh, save it and I'm gonna uh, create a new model uh, yeah, here is a new model, and you can create a part that you wish. At least uh, be a part. Uh, very simple, just a box. And this is a, uh, a model, and we're gonna go to assign the material. So here is new material. So how you created this one? You can come to the library just. 
just library and here you can find that still that we giving still hover 400 so you come here and now you uh, switch this tick and it will come here so now you can open it and you see the material is already and then create uh, the section and then assign that material to this element so like this you can uh, uh, save some time and also uh, you can uh, keep your data uh, under this material library so this was the end of the tutorial if you have any question please put in the comment and i will find time to answer you see you next time